Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. and welcome to Train World TV. We're here from George from Blackstone Models and we're going to talk about some HO13. So what's new, what's, um, tell us a little about, bit about HO13 and uh, I guess what's, what's happening with Blackstone Models. Well thanks for having me Ken. Thanks for um, with Blackstone Models, what we've done is we've put a highly detailed, ready to run HO narrow gauge. Okay. So, a lot of questions with because they call it HON3, a lot of people think it's a different scale, it's a different everything else, but it's not. It's HO scale, so it runs, it's the same size equipment scale wise right. as your HO standard gauge stuff, but okay. it runs on narrow gauge. The tracks are, or the rails are closer together. Gotcha. And so the equipment's physically smaller. Interesting. So, as far as a. a figure would be you'd still use the same figure in HO as you would in HO N3 because the person doesn't change the equipment physically is smaller. Hmm. So what we've done is we've been able to bring this exciting scale to a mass produ mass produced model okay. to be able to serve the the pent up demands if you will sure. of narrow gauge modeling. Um, narrow gauge lends itself perfect for small layouts, tight radius curves, short trains, steep grades. That's all what the, the narrow gauge was built for right. in the mountains, especially in Colorado is the most, most uh, uh, popular, most common, commonly known, of course, with today's uh, excursion rail on the Durango and Silverton Cumbers mm. and Toltec. People get to go ride that all the time. Yeah. And uh, you could be three cars back and see the locomotive almost look at a 90 degree angle from you when well, you're okay. hitting cool. some of the cool. curves. So it's really uh, kind of cool. Right. So with that, the popularity, one of the things that we wanted to do was to make sure we were delivering the most detailed model we could. So we've accurately modeled various different prototypes in the, mo in the Blackstone models line. And we've matched them to the way they lived in the real world as much as we could. So uh, we've got different uh, cabs, different domes, different pilots, different all kinds of different details that you can have on the locomotive to distinguish it from the next one in the class. The detail is amazing on these engines. Just beautiful, um, really intricate stuff. Great, so, thank you. And um, so now on your newest release, we've been taking some monster orders. That's on, good to hear. Yeah, so w what do you think the deadline or um, is it, will it be out this year, next year? And uh, the answer is it could be, but most likely it'll be next year. The, okay. Uh, the tooling hasn't been started yet. Okay. Um, the designs are being done in-house and the Blackstone team uh, is almost done with the drawings. The problem is the last 5% of it, it's 95% done, so the last 5% seem to take so much longer to get completed as you're trying to make sure everything works together well. Right. Um, unfortunately, we've hit a little bit of a detail snag, so we're trying to work out some logistics so we can get this yeah, done, so we can get it off the tooling. Um, optimistically, we're probably looking at send it, being completed, estimated, uh, three to four months to be okay. able to send them off to tooling. One of the now, things I know we uh, we want to do is try to get these off to tooling as soon as we can, right. so that they can be you know tooling can take anywhere from three to six months for a single locomotive, and mm. sometimes a little longer. We're doing two locomotives side by side tooling, so we're probably looking at about four to eight months of tooling process. Okay. So we're hoping for the best, expecting the worst, um, but we want them right. Yeah. And so once yeah. we start getting the tooling pieces back, we'll be rigorously testing them, measuring them, making sure they're fitting within our specs, and then we'll start having a better estimate as far as when they'll be on shelves. That's great. Well, we definitely need you to keep on making product because I definitely see a growth in this scale market. Absolutely. So, um, keep up the good work, and you could place all your pre-orders on the Blackstone model engines at trainworld.com, no money down. So uh, just make sure you, you check out our site, uh, go to Manufacturers Blackstone Models, they make all HON3 product. And George, thank you so much for stopping by, we You're really welcome. appreciate it. Thank